200 megapixels na camera nandito na sa wakas sa Xiaomi 12T Pro. Pero kung nanonood kayo dito sa channel ko, alam nyo hindi ito ang pinakaunang Android phone na merong 200 megapixels na camera dahil nauna na po dyan ang Moto X30 Pro. Pwede nyo pong panoorin yung video ko dito sa channel. But kailangan natin tingnan kung nag-improve na nga ba ang Xiaomi 12T series over the 11T series pagdating sa camera dahil alam nyo naman na hindi ako gaanong natuwa sa 11T Pro camera kahit na meron siyang 108 megapixels at dinab pa nila as Cinemagic. So, aalamin natin yan in this first impressions video and quick unboxing. And speaking of unboxing, unahin muna natin yan after this intro. Alright, so that was our quick unboxing video. So, alamin naman natin kung ano yung mga ports na kasama dito. So, sa bottom portion, nandyan yung SIM card tray natin. Dual SIM, wala pong expandable memory card slot. Meron tayong USB-C charging port, a microphone, and a down-firing speaker. Dalawa po yung speakers nito, meron pa isa sa top. And then, on the right side naman, nandyan yung power button natin and the volume rockers. And on top, like I said, nandyan yung secondary speaker natin and a Harman Kardon branding dahil nga tuned by Harman Kardon yung speakers nito. And then, meron din tayong noise-canceling microphone and an infrared blaster. And then, on the left side naman, wala pong kaganapan, walang makikita any ports or buttons. Sa back panel naman, nandiyan yung 200 megapixel na camera natin and an 8 megapixel ultra wide and a 2 megapixel macro lens. So very standard na yung dalawang lens niya but the main highlight is the Samsung HP1 200 megapixel sensor. Kung ikukumpara nyo ito sa regular na 12T, meron pong small bump yung 200 megapixel na lens niya. And sa regular 12T naman, I don't think meron ganitong klaseng camera bump yung 108 megapixel na lens niya. Yung back panel naman niya, merong anti-glare finish. So, hindi siya ganong reflective. Pero this is a fingerprint and smudge magnet. So, mas maganda pa rin talaga na may case na gamitin dito sa Xiaomi 12T Pro. And kung makikita nyo yung form factor nito, meron siyang 3D curved form factors. Hindi siya boxy type like what we've seen with other Xiaomi phones this year. And yung frame niya is made out of plastic. And you will notice that dahil wala tayong antenna bands all around the frame. And then sa front panel naman, meron tayong Corning Gorilla Glass Protection and 6.67 inches po yung display niya. And meron siyang punch hole design sa gitna. Very small punch hole. But we'll talk more about the display later on in the video kasi ang next na gusto kong i-highlight is yung performance. So meron tong Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. This is way better than the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 produced by Samsung. This one is manufactured by TSMC. So, better thermals, better cooling as I will show you sa display right now. So, I tested this with the CPU throttling test and it passed with flying colors. Green all the way. Ito yung secret phone na pinost ko sa Facebook page ko. So, kung nakita nyo yung post na yun, a lot of you guessed na Xiaomi 12T series yung pinost ko and kung nahulaan nyo, Good job guys. Yung iba naman ang hula na uh, Xiaomi CV2 but that is not gonna be released globally so wala po ako nun. But going back to the throttling test, it didn't really surprise me dahil nga meron na tayong ibang Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 na phones and the same halos yung performance, hindi gaano nagtothrottle yung 8 Plus Gen 1. So kung naghahanap kayo ng flagship chipset in 2022, I would highly suggest na hanapin nyo yung SD8 Plus Gen 1 instead of the regular SD8 Gen 1. And then pagdating naman sa Antutu Benchmark, 1 million Antutu Benchmark points, CCO lang dito sa SD8 Plus Gen 1. So alam nyo na actually to guys, hindi na kailangan pang i-memorize but overall, kung performance ang habol mo, this is a beast 
Kayang-kaya lahat ng apps na gusto mong patakbuhin. Pero kailangan natin mag-focus sa games dahil yan talaga ang magsasabi sa atin kung gaano kaganda yung cooling and yung thermal performance and yung overall performance ng chipset na to. Meron ba talagang throttling na mangyayari? Yan ang malalaman natin in the future videos dahil hindi ko pag anong natetesto for gaming. So, ang pwede ko lang ipakita sa inyo is yung mga settings na nakuha ko. For example, sa Mobile Legends, meron tayong ultra graphic settings as well as refresh rate. So, that is cool. Right out of the box, naka-ultra na lahat. Sa Call of Duty naman, very high graphics is available as well as yung max na frame rates. And meron pang ultra frame rates para sa multiplayer mode. So, napakaganda at very optimized na agad right out of the box yung settings na available for Call of Duty dito sa Xiaomi 12T Pro. Sa League of Legends Wild Rift naman, unfortunately, wala pa tayong 90 frames per second or 120 frames per second na option dito sa Xiaomi 12T Pro. But hopefully, maging available in a future update sa game. Pero syempre, asahan nyo, natatakbo very smoothly yung Wild Rift dito. Walang kaproble-problema. Sa Genshin Impact naman, of course, sinagad ko na sa highest graphic settings plus 60 frames per second para lang makita natin kung gaano kaganda and smooth yung gaming dito. And I must admit guys, goods talaga yung performance dahil umaabot ng high 50s yung frame rates ng Genshin Impact so far. But of course, gusto ko pang matest talaga to ng matagalan and meron pa akong isang game na gusto itest dito yung Tower of Fantasy and hopefully maganda rin yung performance dito. And kung meron pa kayong mga game request, ilagay nyo lang dyan sa comment section kung ano pa yung mga games na gusto nyong itest ko dito with the Xiaomi 12T Pro and I will try my best na isali yan sa full review ko. But overall, sa short period na nagamit ko tong Xiaomi 12T Pro, wala pa akong problemang na-encounter lado na sa gaming. So, let's cross our fingers na tuloy-tuloy na smooth yung performance itong Xiaomi 12T Pro. Next naman, eto na. Siguro ito yung pinaka-importante para sa akin kasi I'm more of a camera person rather than a gaming person pagdating sa mobile phones. So, last year, I told you I was kinda disappointed sa camera ng Xiaomi 11T Pro. Pati na rin sa 11T, it's almost the same performance and hindi ko gaano natuwa sa rendering ng images from those phones. Although they had a 108 megapixel na camera sensor, lalo na at nilabel nila na Cinemagic. For this year, so far, sa mga na-take ko na photos and videos, I think, mas karapat dapat na sabihing Cinemagic itong Xiaomi 12T Pro. It is visibly better para sa akin. And guys, take note na yung mga pictures and videos na tinitingnan ko ay tinitingnan ko sa big screen. Hindi lang po sa cellphone, ha? So, makikita ko talaga agad kung very soft ba yung edges na isang picture or is it over sharpened? I would suggest guys na kung gusto nyo talagang mabusisi yung isang picture from your phone, tingnan nyo to on a bigger display. But anyway, let's talk muna about the main highlight of this phone which is the 200 megapixel sensor. So pagkukuha tayo ng 200 megapixel na photos, that means bigger yung file size and mas ma-zoom in natin yung picture. I already showed an example on this dun sa video natin on the Moto X30 Pro. And so far, pareho lang po yung experience ko with the Xiaomi. Although, mas mabilis mag-shoot ng 200 megapixels yung Xiaomi kesa sa Moto X30 Pro na meron tayong loading time about 2 seconds bago ma-shoot. So for the most part guys, this is just purely marketing. So wag kayo magpapadala dahil 200 megapixels. Bagkos, tingnan natin yung mga regular photos kung maganda nga ba. And so far, I would say maganda yung overall results ng mga photos na nakuha ko whether it be indoor shots, outdoor shots, indoor videos, outdoor videos, goods to goods yung camera nitong Xiaomi 12T Pro. So faith in Xiaomi T-Series has been restored. Let's move on naman to the other lenses. So, meron din tayong ultra-wide na 8 megapixels and for the most part, it's decent. It's not gonna be the same quality as the main sensor. So, may downgrade lang tayo sa quality but it's still very usable. But the one thing that I'm sure of is hindi katulad ng other ultra-wides na masasabi mo talagang basura. So, this one you can actually use and share sa social media. Now, sa 2 megapixel macro naman, uh, well, it's the same thing. I really wish that phone brands would actually ditch the macro lens and instead use telephoto lenses para sa phones nila. 
dahil mas magagamit mo talaga yung meron kang zoom, lalo na kung 5 times zoom or kahit 3 times zoom man lang. Dahil dito sa Xiaomi 12T Pro, meron lang tayong 2 times zoom and it's digital. And that's the only one na readily available sa menu. But also, you can zoom in pa up to 10 times. But again, that's digital zoom na. So, blurry na and hindi na gaanong... Maganda yung kuha pag nag 10 times zoom ka dito sa Xiaomi 12T Pro. Now, sa video taking side naman, there's a lot to unpack dahil maraming modes dito. Meron tayong 720p, 1080p, 4K, and as well as 8K. Nasa 4K naman hanggang 60 frames per second. Meron tayong OIS, meron tayong EIS. It's very stable. It's quite different from the experience that I had with the Xiaomi 11T Pro na kahit na Parang stable yung image pero medyo shaky pa rin. Pag naglalakad ka, may uga pa rin with the 11T Pro. Now, napansin ko lang na when you're panning from left to right or vice versa, okay, very smooth yung nakukuha mo. But when you're panning vertically, up and down, medyo mapapansin mo na may konting lag or her jitters. I'm not really sure what's going on. Maybe it's the EIS algorithm. But hopefully, this is something that can be fixed through a software update. And speaking of software update, naka MIUI 13 on top of Android 12, itong Xiaomi 12T Pro. And it's very smooth so far. Usually naman kasi yung mga top-of-the-line phones ng Xiaomi hindi gaanong buggy as compared sa mga mid-range to lower-end devices. So I expect the same thing para dito sa Xiaomi 12T Pro. Dahil so far, wala pa naman na-encounter na bugs talaga on this phone. Oh, and bago ko makalimutan, yung front camera, hindi pa pala natin na pag-usapan. Meron tong 20 megapixels na front camera punch hole design. And hanggang 1080p 60 frames po yung kaya nitong i-record. Sayang, hindi pa rin 4K. Xiaomi, please naman, ibigay nyo na sa amin yung 4K recording sa front camera. And overall, it's a decent camera. It's what you'd expect from a selfie camera. It's nothing groundbreaking. It's something that you can use sometimes when you're using it for TikTok. Pero, ayun, hindi siya yung main highlight talaga ng phone. Decent siya. Next naman, pag-usapan natin yung display. So, meron itong 120Hz refresh rate. And now, they're calling this a Crystal Res AMOLED display, which means meron itong 68 billion colors. And then, sobrang ganda, vibrant, and all that. What you'd expect from an AMOLED display. But don't be confused. This is still a, an AMOLED display. Nothing really groundbreaking or different from it. So, meron lang tong adaptive refresh rate, adaptive sync. So, nag-change yung refresh rate depending on what you're doing with your display. And by the way, guys, ito lang, napansin ko while watching Netflix, wala pang available na Dolby Vision even though ang pinapanood ko is something like The Stranger Things na merong Dolby Vision. So, dapat nakalagay kasi dyan Vision or Dolby Vision para malaman nyo na Dolby Vision yung kakayahan ng phone or yung display nyo. But this one, nakalagay lang is HDR. So that means HDR 10 Plus pa lang yung kaya nitong i-decode. But hopefully magkaroon ng update para naman magkaroon na ng Dolby Vision dito. Which they say is available naman dapat sa Xiaomi 12T Pro. And finally pala, hindi ko pa pala nababanggit yung battery nito. So meron tong 5,000 mAh na battery capacity as well as 120 watts na fast charging. So you can expect na tapos ka na mag-charge dito sa Xiaomi 12T Pro in just under 20 minutes from 0 to 100%. And then maasahan nyo naman na solid yung battery performance ito as with other Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 na natest ko na maganda yung standby performance as well as yung overall performance ng battery endurance niya. Dahil nga mas matipid and mas power efficient yung Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. And overall, this is a really solid phone. The problem is, as of the time of this video, wala pa akong information about the pricing so i don't know how much this will cost so hindi ko masabi kung sulit nga ba or medyo mahal but let's hope for the best lalo na dito sa philippines and i'm sure makikita nyo after the launch na meron ng pricing and that's usually in euros so wag kayo magalala dahil yung euros na pricing is not really the same sa pricing sa Philippines. Dahil dito sa Philippines, mas maawain yung Xiaomi sa atin. Alam naman nila yung economic status natin. So medyo binababaan nila yung presyo. So again, wag kayo magalala, hindi po yan yung final pricing para dito sa Philippines. Medyo matagal-tagal pa sa atin darating sa Philippines itong Xiaomi 12T Pro. I think it's gonna be in early November. So don't quote me on that. But it's not gonna be this month yet. 
So abangan nyo na lang po dahil ilalabas ko rin po yung full review ko nito before mag-launch or before magkaroon ng pre-orders dito sa Philippines para informed kayo at alam nyo kung dapat nga ba kayong bumili nitong Xiaomi 12T Pro. Yun lang po yung mga gusto kong ibahagi sa inyo so far about the Xiaomi 12T Pro. Kung may mga katanungan pa kayo, let me know in the comment section. At kung napanood mo naman yung video ko at a later date and meron ng available na products ng Xiaomi 12T Pro, you can be sure na lahat po ng links ay nandyan sa description box. Anyway, kung gusto mo pang manood ng mga videos ko, meron po akong mga ililink dyan. I'm sure magugustuhan mo rin yan. So hanggang sa susunod, ako nga pala ulit si Janus ng Pinotech Dad. Kita-kita ulit tayo.